morning, guys. So it's actually almost like noon. I look awful today, so we're just gonna ignore that. We found glow in the dark paint. So tuck's over here painting because we're not doing school today because we have a sick kid, so that's fun. So the boys' cousins, they all went through, I guess, getting a stomach bug and then now Garrett got it. So night before last, I couldn't sleep. I had started a new book and it was probably almost two in the morning. I'm still reading. And I heard Garrett trying to turn on his light switch and he got up to run to the bathroom and he didn't make it. So I had to take his rug outside and hose it off and scrub it with soap and a broom. Not at two in the morning. I did that yesterday. Um, but yeah, he was sick for a while. Luckily he still had some of his meds left over from last time he had a stomach bug. So I gave him some of that. So he felt better pretty quick, but he's still not feeling better. You know, but so he's basically taken over that end of the house. So everyone's been brushing their teeth in here and even though we have the other bathroom, I don't know. Um, Tucker slept in that little bed in our room last night and he didn't sleep very well so I didn't sleep very well so now I've had like two nights of no sleep. And I'm tired. So we're not doing school today. One, Garrett doesn't feel good still. I mean he's okay now but he's just, you know, getting over it. And I'm exhausted, so I'm just going to get this house cleaned up. I need to get his sheets and stuff washed and his carpet cleaned. Might see if Adam will do that when he gets home. And, uh, but I need to throw his sheets in the wash, but he's still laying in his bed, so I don't know. But I need to get the rest of this house cleaned up. I've been kind of like sanitizing everything throughout the past two days so hopefully i'm praying nobody else gets this but you know i've been cleaning up his mess this whole time so <laughs> i don't want it anyway we're gonna get some mess cleaned up see what we do for lunch so last night garrett was feeling better by dinner time and adam made some homemade like creamy chicken noodle creamy yeah and it was good creamy chicken noodle soup. So I'm going to show you how we made that and then we'll come back to today and get this house cleaned up and see what else we get up to. So for our soup we started out with a pound of ground chicken and we just cooked that until it was cooked through and we seasoned it with some salt and pepper, some onion and garlic powder, some Tony seasoning and some celery salt. We also boiled some egg noodles and matchstick carrots and set those to the side while we got the rest of our soup ready. To our ground chicken when it was done, we added one can of cream of chicken soup and one can of butter beans. And to that we added in a carton of chicken broth, so four cups, and one cup of heavy cream. Once this came up to a boil, we turned it down to a low simmer and added back in our noodles and carrots and the soup was done. This turned out so delicious and it was perfect when some of us weren't feeling so great and it was really good with the butter beans. What are you painting? Trees? Glow in the dark trees? Not trees. What are you painting? It's a surprise. Well, you're getting paint on the table. Mm -hmm. It's alright. I hope. You're not painting, please. So, if you haven't been here this whole time, this table 
is from when I was a baby. My dad built this table. And it's, it weighs a lot. It's like a solid chunk. Um, but yeah, so it's, it's seen its days. It's got scratches and dents and it's a little wobbly. And if you look close enough, you can see writing marks from where me and my sister would sit here and do our homework. And it went through the paper and indented the wood. But yeah, so I really want to redo it. I want to like sand it down and like refinish it or something. The chairs, he didn't make the chairs. He just got them to go with the table. So I kind of want new ones. One's broken and they're just not very comfortable. But anyway, off subject. Show me what you painted when you're all done, okay? okay. You want to say hi to everybody? <laughs> you feeling a little better? Yeah, better than yesterday. Love you. So I thought maybe I would get a whole cleaning video done. <laughs> a lot of you said you missed those, so I was going to try, but like, I don't know if you can tell, I'm like clammy? I don't, I don't know. Anyway, I'm probably going to get sick, and I hope not, but I'm trying to get as much cleaned up as possible. I need to get Garrett's sheets done, but I'll just wait till Adam gets home, and he said he would clean the carpet for me, so... When he goes in there to clean the carpet, we'll pull all the sheets off, do it all at once, get the bed remade. I think Garrett's fine now as far as coming out here if he wants, but but I'm gonna make myself a cup of coffee and I'm I have this one blueberry bliss one from H E B and I thought it was gonna be really good. I'd never tried it before. And it's alright. It's not very good hot, so I'm gonna put it on ice. I am so thankful for this. This is not sponsored. Um my brother and sister-in-law got a new ice maker, and so they gave me this one because they, they have five kids, and they all are constantly in the ice with their big water jugs and all that all day long. And so they said this one didn't make enough for them, and they got a new one and gave me this one. So it works good enough for me. I don't let it just keep making it and leave it in there. I make some, and as soon as it drops it, I throw it in the ice bucket in the freezer until it's full. And so then I always have a bucket of ice. So I'm going to make an iced coffee. Thank you to my brother and sister-in-law for that. I probably need to make more ice. Does anybody else do this? I keep fast food cups. I mean, I don't keep every one I get. I keep a couple because I don't know why. If I have a soda with ice, which I haven't really been drinking sodas lately, I've had one in like two or three weeks, which is good. But even a sparkling water, I put a bunch of ice in it, and it just tastes better out of one of these cups. I don't know why. Is there a science behind it? <laughs> probably not. And it's probably actually really gross to keep them. But, I mean, they're clean. Dishwasher spots, but 
they're clean. But yeah, so I'm going to make an iced coffee. I just use a little bit of sugar, maybe some brown sugar today. That sounds good. And then I just use half and half. I got the flavored coffee because I've been wanting a flavored coffee, but I don't like coffee creamer anymore. I don't know what it is. There's something about it, it just all tastes almost the same and then it all tastes kind of plasticky to me. Uh, it's just not good to me. I want some syrups, but they're expensive at H-E-B and I haven't made it to TJ Maxx or anything yet, but blueberry coffee, half and half, some brown sugar, and some ice. So apparently this is a thing I do. I know in a video before I have dropped the brown sugar and made a mess with it. And now I just did it again. So that's fun. All right, so Garrett took a shower and he's chilling on the couch over there. We're gonna leave him I'm sorry, to this side. I figure we're good as long as nobody else is right up in his face. He hasn't been sick today at all. Or yesterday, really, what, since noon? He's been okay, he just still doesn't feel like it. So, we're gonna keep him in the germ zone over there. Careful. Tucker's hungry now, so he's gonna have, I can't see. Well, you have to take one out of there. <laughs> just make it right here, you're already standing here. My food is done. Silly. <laughs> you're already standing here, so. We have some chicken left over. I might eat some of that. That's what's in here. This is leftover. Oh, that's gonna spill. Chicken pot pie filling from these. Uh, they're like the cheeseburger biscuits we made, but we made a chicken pot pie version. And this is the filling that was extra. So he's gonna warm up a tortilla and then fill it with this. And then Garrett's gonna have leftover of the soup we had last night, but he doesn't want it right this second. So Tucker's gonna eat. I need to eat something. Me starving. You're starving. I don't think uh, you're starving. You had breakfast. What? Eh. He dropped the twisty in the burner, which I need to clean. I swear I clean these so much. I don't know whose bright idea this was. These things never stay clean. I feel like I need to take them out every night when I clean up the kitchen and clean them, but what a pain. I want, oh, that's not going I want a glass top stove. I am so tired of this. And we still have, this burner used to mess up and get really, really hot when you'd put it on like low. And so Adam ordered all the things that are behind here. I don't know what they're called. What makes the burner work? And he replaced them all. So this burner and this burner work perfectly now. Now this one, you can turn it up to high and it barely gets on warm. And now that one, if you put it on low, gets so hot, it's insane. So. We just need a new stove, but it's just not, you know, not going to happen right now. That's a lot of filling. You can eat all that. Eat what you want, because after today, I think that probably needs to go anyway. Just don't waste it. You, you're not going to be able to roll it up. You're putting too much in there. All right, so I'm going to get started on sheets. So what happened was Garrett was in the top and didn't make it to the bathroom and made a mess. I'm not going to show you the carpet because I still have, I mean, I cleaned it, but we need to get the carpet cleaner out. Um, hi, Angus boy. So because he wasn't able, he was so sick, he wasn't able to get to the bathroom fast enough. So I made him sleep on the bottom and I put all of Tucker's stuff over there so that he wasn't touching it. And so I need to wash all these sheets and stuff, probably... What do you do with stuffed animals after some? I can't wash all of these. Lice all them all, throw them in the dryer maybe? Ugh. I don't know. 
these are the times I wish my mom and my grandma were around to help, or even Adam's mom, just to, you know, and they're not here. But anyway, I'm going to do what I remember my mom doing. Wash everything, do all that mess, and spray down the mattress with Lysol and hope for the best. Huh? Is that right? Is that right, Inga's boy? Aren't you glad you don't get sick? You don't have to worry about it. I know. I know. Where'd you go? I also need to clean their room. Well, vacuum. They clean their own room. But <gasps> You found a ball. You just want to go outside and chase that squirrel, don't you? Angus has a squirrel friend in the tree, and if he doesn't see him out there, he'll follow him. Ignore. This was taken out of the bathroom so Garrett could take a shower to make room. It's tiny. This is thrift store stuff. But there's a squirrel in the tree outside, and Angus will chase him all the time. Like, he'll stare up at the tree and chase him back and forth. And if he goes out there and he doesn't see the squirrel, he'll run all the way from this tree, this is the squirrel's tree, to this tree over here. He'll run back and forth, barking, looking up the whole time, and calling the squirrel to come play with him. He's crazy. You love that squirrel, don't you? You do. I think if he came down to see you, you wouldn't even know what to do. You'd probably be scared of him. <laughs> Alright, so I got everything off the bed. That is a pile of Garrett stuffed animals that were on his bed. Lysoled everything. Put them on this side. This is Tucker stuff I took off, but I Lysoled it anyway, and his pillow. Extra pillow. I think I've breathed enough <laughs> Lysol that maybe I'm immune to everything now. I'm just kidding. That's not how it works, but yeah. <coughs> yeah. This entire room reeks of Lysol. I Lysoled down the whole bed, pillows, everything that's around. Yeah, it stinks, huh? I guess. I got the window open. Not open. The curtain open to let in some sun in here, and maybe it'll help giant pile of all the bedding. I'm gonna wash all that even though I have a load of clothes in the washer right now, but hopefully huh? hopefully this will get rid of all the germs and then Adam's gonna clean the carpet and hopefully nobody else gets sick because I don't want to do this again. Uh, yuck. So, hopefully we're done with that. I'm tired. That's a lot. I look Disgusting. I'm gonna take a shower when Adam gets home. Red. I just might as well finish what I'm doing before I take one and then I'll get all sweaty and gross again. Um, I need to clean up Tucker's paint mess and finish the laundry. I have tons of clothes to fold, so I might do that. Well, I've been listening to my book while I cleaning. That's what I usually do. I'm usually reading one book and listening to one. That way. I get two done. It's been nice. I've finished a lot of books this year. But anyway. Let me do it. Laundry. I need to get done. And then I might start editing this video or something. Adam should be home in less than an hour. I don't know what we're doing for dinner. But if it's something good, I'll share it with you. And if not, I'll just show you what we had anyway. So, yeah. Pray for us that we all don't get it. But I'm just glad Garrett's feeling better and... I put a post on and he started dancing. <laughs> They're playing Roblox and it's some weird thing. But anyway. Thank you guys for being here. I've really enjoyed seeing y'all's comments from the past two videos and getting to talk with y'all again. I missed you guys. So, yeah. It was nice to have a break for the summer. My arm is getting tired. <laughs> it was nice to have a break for the summer and all of that and just make memories with my kids and all that kind of stuff but it's nice to be back because I miss it and I, I, I think I'm starting to figure out how to make more time for it so we'll see anyway Stay in here with the I'll be back to let you know what we had for dinner and all of that so I'll see you guys in a little bit
So tonight we're making our kind of copycat version of Chili's Big Mouth Bites. We've made these before, but I don't know if we make them exactly the same way every time. So I'll just show you again. We had half a bottle of ranch, and to that we added in some pickle juice, some jalapeno juice, and some applewood smoked seasoning. Then we just cooked five pieces of super thick cut bacon in the oven, and we also seasoned that with the applewood smoke seasoning. Is it just me or does this bacon look so good? It looks fake. Like this is perfect bacon. For our burgers, we used one pound of ground beef and to that we just added some salt and pepper and some of the drippings from our bacon. We put this in a foil lined half sheet pan and cook this at 400 degrees for about 20 minutes or a little more just depending on when it's done. And then we're just gonna add this to our Hawaiian rolls. On top of our giant burger patty, we're gonna add on six slices of American cheese, our cooked bacon, and that ranch dressing we made. Then we're just going to put this all back together and put it back in the oven for about five minutes just until the cheese is melted and these burgers turn out so delicious. We just served these with some steak fries and some of that Big Mouth Ranch we made. This is such an easy way to make burgers and they are so, so good. Say come play! Where'd he go? As always, thank you guys so much for watching and spending some time with us today. If you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to hit that like button down below, subscribe if you're new, and we'll see you guys in the next one.